Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield. I'm joined by Matt Wilson, our West Brom correspondent here at the Express and Star. Matt, West Brom three on the bounce. Can they make it four against Brentford? Well, hopefully, yeah. Um, it looks like quite an inviting fixture uh, on paper. Mm -hmm. um, Brentford have lost three in a row, I think, and as you say, Albion have won three in a row. So it's obviously the favourites are going to be mm -hmm. back at the Hawthorns as well. And the last time Albion were there, they put in their best performance of the season, that four win over Leeds. Yeah. But Darren Moore said yesterday in his press conference that. Uh, these are exactly the sort of games that you've got to see over the line. Mm. Um, the championship is very unpredictable. I don't think you can take this one for granted. Um, you know they've got Romain Sawyer's back. Um, he's been out with an injury, but he came back on the weekend yeah. um, or in midweek. Um, obviously, he will want to prove a point against the, his former club. So, look, it's not one that you can take for granted. Just like any game, really, in this league. I mean, the, if you look at it, if you look at the division, Albion have beaten. Both the teams in the current top two, yeah. and they've lost to two of the teams in the current bottom three. Mm. So it just goes to show that actually there is an argument that these sorts of teams that frustrate you and 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 you know offer something a bit more different. If you take your eye off the ball mm. or if you start to get complacent, that's when teams can hurt you. Yeah, and obviously you've already spoken to Darren. Do you expect many changes heading into this one? Considering the form they're in, you wouldn't expect too many, would you? Well, it's a difficult one because you've got the big game coming up a few days later against yeah. Villa. Um, if it was... and You've had enough time... Well, you should have had enough time from the Swansea game to recover. It's mm -hmm. five days. So if he wants to go with the same team, I'm sure he can. Um, mm -hmm. But they're a bit sluggish in that first half against Swansea. And then you've got the game against Villa coming up. So will he look to rotate? It, it'll be something that he'll have to he'll have to look at. Um, you know, they they're off today, but they're training yeah. Saturday and Sunday. So I'm sure it's something he'll look at Saturday and Sunday. He'll, he'll assess the fitness levels of his teams, of his players. You know, pl players that have put a shift in in recent weeks, like James Morrison, Matt mm -hmm. Phillips, Jake Livermore, even Kieran Gibbs, and Andrew Abayo, who um, although they should be fine, um, yeah. you know, they've done quite a lot of work at fullback. Um, so um, we'll wait and see. Uh, whether he changes it. The obvious two changes for me would be to bring in Dwight Gale and Gareth Barry potentially. Mm -hmm. um, Gale probably more so. Um, but is it is it the right call for this team? I mean, Brentford played some pretty attractive football, at least they did in, in the Dean Smith era. So, um, do you want someone with Robson and Connie's physicality, or do you want someone with Gale's tenacity? I don't know. I mean, it's it's it's, it's they've won three games in a row. Um, he seems to have struck on a winning formula. The whole team played like a team in mm. the second half against Swansea. So you could completely understand if he kept it. You could completely understand that. But again, you could also understand if he made a couple of tweaks. Not only with the the opposition, the fact that it's at home, but also because you've got that big game against Villa Lumin, um, you know, at the, at, on the Friday night, just a few days afterwards. Now. Darren Moore said, you know, we haven't got any, we're not thinking about that, we're thinking about Brentford. And, yeah. and, and he's right to say that because if you do look too far ahead, you'll get caught out. And then all of a sudden, if you, you, know, if you get beaten at home to Brentford, you're going into that Villa game uh, off the back of a poor result. That's actually going to dent your confidence. So you've got, to, you've got to deal with the first matter in hand first. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what he does with selection. Yeah, so plenty to mull over for Darren Moore ahead of this one. For all the latest on Albie, make sure you stay with us at expressingstar.com.